Hello there. In this video, we are going to look at this book. It's called Plain Trigonometry. It's by Niles, and this is an old book. It's pretty old. Let's open it up and just take a look inside it and see what we find. Previous owner there. Let's turn the page, see what else we got. Plain Trigonometry. Nathan O. Niles, Associate Professor, Department of Mathematics, U.S. Naval Academy, Annapolis, Maryland. Lecture in Mathematics, McKay, McKay, no, McCoy College, the John Hopkins University, Baltimore, Maryland. Wow, plain trigonometry. I wonder how old this book is. Let's take a look. Oh, I can smell it. I can smell it already. I, I just got to smell it really quickly. I just, oh, yeah, 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 it's got that. Yeah, I've, I've had books that have this smell. It's, it's an interesting smell. I wouldn't say it's like a fresh smell. It's definitely an old smell. February 1962, copyright 1959. So this must be like the second, third, third printing. This book was written to give a modern flavor to trigonometry. Cool. The present trend is away from the computational part and toward the analytical aspects of the subject. All right. Let's, let's check it out, let's see what's in this book. So originally published in 1959. Nathan O'Niles, U.S. Naval Academy. And then here is, here are the contents. Fundamental concepts, that's chapter one. Chapter two, trigonometric functions, angles. Okay, chapter three is the right triangle. We should look at some of the trig in this book, really interesting. Four is going to be trigonometric functions, real numbers. Five is fundamental identities. Six is variations and graphs of the trigonometric functions. Seven is trigonometric functions, composite angles. Logarithms, oblique triangles, and then we have inverse trig functions. Ooh, trig equations, those are fun vectors and complex numbers, and then tables, and then we have answers to exercises. Let's start with the answers. Let's just go straight to the answers because I think that that is so important to look at. I know it sounds ridiculous just to focus on the answers in the back of the book, but if, you know, if you're watching this video, you're probably thinking, hey, should I, get, should I buy this book? So, I mean, maybe. It has some answers, though. It doesn't have all of them, so it has some answers. Doesn't look like they have that many, um, but there are some there. There are some there. So you do get some. I mean, there, there are some, definitely some answers there. All right, so let's, let's check out some of the mathematics in this book. Let's go to the equations. That was uh, near the end of the book. Let's start with the harder stuff, uh, <laughs> trigonometry. Let's start the video with the harder stuff. Trigonometric equations, um, they're not that hard, but people struggle um, with them. Cool. Oh, they're really nice with the directions. I like these directions. So it's like, okay, I want you to solve all of these, but you can use degrees or radians. I don't really care, right? So, so for theta between 0 and 360 or uh, u between, oh, no, they do care. Oh, they do care. Never mind. Look, theta shows up on some of them and then u. So like number one, no, no. Number one, they want you to do it in degrees. Number two, they want you to do it in degrees. Number three, they want you to do it in radians. Okay, so interesting. Okay, so they're not giving you a choice. They're telling you if it's theta, use degrees. If it's u, use radians. Interesting. And that's a lot of problems. It would be really wonderful to have the answers. Oh, yeah, stop. He's like, yeah. He's like, I'm done. I can't take it anymore. Stop. No, this is probably when they had to stop. Oh, equations involving, I see. So this was something that was not covered. So whoever used this for a course, in 1959 or in the early 1960s, uh, wrote stop here because this was something that was not covered. That's interesting. This is something that I've covered uh, when I've taught trig, right? This is something that you probably have seen, maybe. So basically, these are problems where um, they're a little bit harder. And like in this case here, we, the, the, an identity was used to reduce it, to, to, to bring it all to signs. There's all kinds of problems like that. Uh, that come about in trigonometry. And in modern books, 
So like a modern textbook would have an entire section perhaps on just problems like example one and related ex exercises. That's a common thing. Um, so that's something that this book doesn't have. So as much as I love old books, you know, those big, thick new books also have a lot of merit. But there's also stuff in this book that you won't find in those big, uh, big thick new books. So yeah, the, the needs change as the time passes, right? So people um, teach different things in colleges, and so books change over time. Multiplication integral powers and division of complex numbers, that's really cool. Yeah, this is something that's taught today in trigonometry. So this is something you would you know, cover. You know what's really interesting about this book? This is going to sound really weird. It's a trig book, right? This is a book on trigonometry. Think about it. I mean, there, there's a lot of books out there that are pre-calc books or algebra and trig books. So they cover both. But when you just get a book just on trigonometry, it's kind of interesting. Usually they're much smaller. Um, I have other trig books. There's other trig books which are also fantastic. So, yeah, really cool. Let's see what else we got in here. Let's go to the, here we got some triangle stuff. The tangent proportion. Okay. Trigonometric functions of real numbers. All right. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Finish this chapter. Lorentz transformations. Ooh, what's this? Yeah, so he's, he's really into it. Do, do. <laughs> I wonder when this was written. It's really interesting. You know, you see this, you wonder, who was this person who wrote, finished this chapter? You know, it's just, I, I don't know. I just feel like these, these books, they have history, you know? The next page, yeah. Hmm. Cool. They really, they really pushed through it. Hopefully they got a good grade. They probably did. They probably did. Yeah, trigonometry, um, it, it takes a lot of work. I think trigonometry is a tough subject to learn uh, on your own. I mean, it takes time. Once you know it, it's easy. But to learn it, you know, it does, does take a lot of work. People struggle with trig a lot more than they do with um, pre-calc. Here's an example of something that people really struggle with in trig is these identities. Basically, you start with one side, and you have to show it's equal to the other side. So, like, for example, here you would start with sine squared times 1 plus cotangent squared. Right? And then you have to show um, that is equal uh, to 1. Right? So, and same thing here, right? Yeah, so 1 plus tan squared actually is actually secant squared. So that's actually cosine squared times secant squared, which is cosine squared times 1 over cosine squared, which is 1. I don't know if that's how they want you to do it, uh, but that's one way to do it. And they're all different. For most of these, like if you're in a trig class, you're thinking, oh, I, I know these. I always had a hard time. The trick with these, like if, when all else fails, just go to sine and cosine, and you might find like some horribly long way to do it, but at least you'll be able to do it. So, <laughs> so like try other stuff, and if all else fails, you know, you can always just go back to sine and cosine and just know those basic identities. But yeah, there's a lot here. 50 exercises. 50. Now, I have books. I have, uh, I forgot what book it was. I have a book that has exercises like this, and it actually has like all the trig identities verified. I was looking at it the other day, and I forgot what book it was. I was like, wow, what an incredible book. It actually has like 35 or 40 completely worked out uh, trig verification problems. So, yeah. I like these, though, because you know when you did it right, because you get to the other side, you know. So, start with one side, show it's equal to the other. Anyway, it's kind of an interesting book. I don't know if it's still in existence uh, or like, you know, if it's still in print. Um, I will look, I will, I will leave a link in the description to what I can find. Um, it's called Plain Trigonometry and it's by Niles. It's a pretty interesting book. Good luck.